When it comes time to set up the full annex, it's advisable you decide when you arrive at camp that you want to do it. You'll see here, we've lowered the tent and we're using the strap to hold it onto the hatch. That's so we can access this aluminium track. You'll also notice that I've got six metres of annex matting under my feet. The reason for that is I'm going to fold out the annex roof. And I'd like it to stay clean. What you're looking for to help you find the ends is this bit of sail track. So I know that should be at the rear of the van. And now that you've opened it up all the way, just need to identify the sail track and raise it up to the hatch. Then begin to slide it through the aluminium extrusion, making sure that it's properly located. You'll see it's starting to take form on the tent of the van. Continue to slide it along until you get to a stopper. At which point, you now find the other end of the annex, which has the fixing D buckle. All you want to do is just very, very lightly poke it through the D at the bottom here. Just like that, and loop it over. It's just going to help hold the annex up out of the way and keep it off the ground. Finish tucking in the sail track and come in under the canvas. Then identify this reinforcing strap, see how it sits snugly around the hatch. See I've got the end of a zipper here, this is designed to go along the top edge of the tent of the T-van. All you have to do is make the two meet in the middle, slide that up through there, make sure it's firm and then zip it up. What I've just done is I've released a strap that was holding the hatch down. You'll see that's lifted our awning up to the top of its peak. Now we just set up the rest of the T-van tent as you would normally, and then we return and finish the annex off. So once you've fully set up the T-van tent, we return outside to deal with the rest of the canvas. We should finish doing up the zipper on the peak of the T-van tent, as that's gonna become our roof line. And then, just so that we pull the canvas up away from the ground, just going to readjust this strap we were playing around with before. Just bring it up into the body of the van. You'll see it's now following the shape of the T-Van quite neatly. You don't need to do that up too tight yet. We'll come back and adjust that in a minute. The next step's the poles. When you're setting up your awning, it's worthy remembering that there are several very important poles. In this hand here, I'm holding a three-stage pole. This pole's responsible for connecting from the hatch to the very front of the van and that gives you a stability and a point which the annex can come out forward. And these two poles. This is the bird's beak pole, it's one piece, and then an upright nine foot pole, which is taller than all the other upright poles. And that forms the peak of the annex. That connects to the hatch and comes out towards the front here. Everything else is a seven foot six pole and it uses a peg pole and guy rope to hold it up. These two bits of pole form a length that continues along the roof line of the van. What that achieves is that the canvas is pulled tight to the body, up to this pole where it's supported at the top of the hatch, and at another pole end here, and then it's bringing the annex across. That fully seals the annex to the body of the van, whilst retaining head height when you're operating at the kitchen. So, first thing to notice, you'll see you've got a bird's beak clip here. What I do is I remove the pole completely, and then at about one hand span's grip, slide it back into that point. That way we're guaranteed that we've got a decent amount of contact left in the pole, so it's not gonna bend or bow. This point, we rotate the pole around and we install the other half of the pole with the eyelet. What this will do is connect to the upright pole near the kitchen end. Slide that in all the way to the end and pinch it up loosely. Now, another point worthy making is that when you attach this, the wing nut should be pointing into the living space and not hard up against the canvas because otherwise you can't adjust them and they will wear holes in the canvas. So we take our bird's beak clip end, make sure that it's installed vertically and then bring it up to the horizontal. Extend out the other half of the eyelet here and get yourself an upright pole. Make sure you run through both the eyelet of the pole and of the canvas and extend down to the ground. 
just quickly with this wacky guy rope on extend this out until the canvas is taut and pinch it up again noting that the wing nuts on the inside here so that I can adjust it then when I've got this where I want it adjust the guy rope the last point to note is to make the canvas taut to the body of the van I do that with the D shackles here Start by tucking this strap down between the hatch and the body of the van. Then take the other end of the strap, poke it through the D as you see here, and then loop it back through itself and then adjust. Now it's important to remember not to pull this up too tight, particularly when you haven't completely finished setting up the annex. This is a point of adjustment you can come back to later. But you'll see by putting a little bit of pressure on it it's now conforming neatly to the edge of the van you'll also note on the corners we've decided to use two guy ropes again gives you maximum adjustability and also means that it will be more resistant to things like strong winds When you connect all the poles to the front edge from this pole onwards, you'll note there's a bit of Velcro. That allows you to connect the front of the awning to the pole, which will again increase its stiffness and make it easier to attach the optional walls later on. So the special poles, the nine foot upright and the bird's beak single pole are used to set the maximum peak of the awning. You attach the bird's beak's pole to the hatch up here. Sometimes you have to fold the couch out of the way. Make sure when you do this, you connect vertically like so, and then bring it out horizontally. You'll see here, I've made sure that the wing nut is on the underside. If it's up the other way, you can't possibly do it up. Loosen that off, extend it out to the upright, and then bring out the nine foot pole. Plug it in, make sure you go through the eyelet and then pull the canvas down, extend and out. It's important to make sure you pull this out to its furthest extension and then do this up. You will not have an opportunity to adjust this later unless you've got a step ladder. Now you'll notice with this pole, we've decided to go with a couple of guy ropes. Again, because it is as tall as it is, this will ensure that it remains stable and can't be taken by the wind. Once you've installed the last pole, it then becomes a matter of adjusting all the poles until you make it taut. And that can be done quite simply by adjusting the position of the guy rope and the pole relative to the other ones. And also by readjusting the Velcro. That's pretty taut. And now it's ready to attach the additional zip-on walls.